I think everything's good. Ready for gravel? Gravel riding has become extremely popular probably because there are more bikes available right now and it's very newbie friendly. So today, uh, we're gonna be trying out gravel. PCF is coming up. Ultra uh, gravel. So there's 160, 50, and 240, but uh, since we don't know anything about gravel, I mean, I gotta put my hands up. Even Tom. Uh, we're like dummies in gravel. So, tire pressure is one of the, you can say, very, very important part of gravel riding before we even do stuff like that we got to figure out how to set up the bike so setting up the bike is very important so this is our road bike these are the same bikes that we use in Silex for time trials road racing we just had to swap out and change the tires to something uh, bigger uh, this brakes the same crank is the same so we're using a 5311 so this 5311 the crank is uh, uh, well, for this crank, I'm using a 180 millimeter crank just for the leverage, because we don't ha we don't have the ability to spin just like some of our uh, really good riders. We call today's session a steering control session because it uh, makes you understand how your tire pressure affects the steering, and sometimes it is very important, especially when you're at high speed. You have to understand how the bike will react to different types of terrain and you're not going to be taken by surprise one of the things that we learned in gravel riding is that you can adapt some of the road riding skills into gravel riding one of the th things here that you can see is that you tend to um, absorb the bumps not by holding on to the handlebars too tight so just like so you have to stand up when you see the bump instead of braking because the moment that you brake your tires are gonna dig in into the soft sand so you m might as well just power through don't brake and keep on applying the same torque on the wheels and one of the things that uh, you may have noticed in some of our videos is that we don't spin a lot so we try to use a heavier gear but that requires some adaptation and training it smooths out the bumps instead of uh, you know spinning a lot but sometimes it works for others sometimes it doesn't but uh, well for from our experience it allows us to absorb some of the ripples on the road put an emphasis on a very constant rhythm because this will number one keep you fairly balanced number two it's going to make everything quiet and number three it's going to lower your heart rate tire width and pressure are very dependent on the sandy ones you have to have wider tires with low pressure for the rear i use a 47c in the front i use a 43c tire pressure is limited between 30 to 35 yeah, we're, uh, I would rather us crash now instead of the race. Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Okay. 100% crash now. Crash now. Do it right on the race day. Okay. Riding on mixed terrain can be very tricky for, for a few of us. Unlike road riding, you can fairly predict where you're going. But in mixed terrain, you have to be able to adapt from hard-packed sand to super loose powdery sand and where you hold the bike on the handlebars is very very important because this will dictate the characteristics of the bike like for example on powdery sand you have to hold on to the drops just to keep the bike stable especially if you're going high speed because the moment that you brake on soft sand it's just gonna dig and you'll be stuck when you get to climbs that are not too steep you can just power it up uh, one of the tricks that I learned is keeping your balance in the center of the bike just to avoid the rear wheel from skidding and holding on to the hoods will help your lower back stay as relaxed as possible i thoroughly enjoyed this episode and hopefully you did too and maybe this might inspire you to start trying gravel just like what we did now we're hooked